Bowie, Grand Owie, we need one of my fellow Transformer fans. Monkey again for another review. Um, it's been a while. I haven't done an actual review for a while, so um, I think it was uh, yeah, Terrasaur, which I really enjoyed, and it was really cool. People, I've got lots of comebacks from that one, comments and things. That was really nice. Thank you guys. Um, also with the thank yous, I'd like to thank some new subscribers. So I'd like to thank first Adam Nickel, uh, the mighty Ghost of Starscream. <laughs> I should have say the Ghost of Starscream. Thank you, sir. It is it, um, the true phantasm. Th um, wow, thank you very much. That's so cool. Uh, Mick Mer, Mr. Mick Mer, sir. Hello, thanks, man. Um, Patient Zero Thirty Seven. Thank you very, very much. That's really cool. Um, VF One School One. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Ali Kara. And we've got, oh, thank you, Ali, appreciate it. Luther Winborn, thank you very much, Luther. And uh, last but not least, Alicia loses it. That's really cool. Thank you very much. And it's it's really, it's so cool when people subscribe. Um, something, something there is something in my content that obviously tickles them, and it's it's really cool. It's a really cool feeling. And it just keep me pumped man it's, it's really really good i'm liking it thank you so much for you guys uh joining in um to monkeys and tv and thank you for um uh, those who are still staying sticking with me i totally appreciate it guys really so the thank you's done i'd like to go over these bots now i've got some more bots but i'm going to leave them to me chunnerins next week um but I want to talk about the review of these bots. And I'm not doing them as in detail um, because uh, lots of people have done this and lots of uh, these are characters that everyone subscribed, um, reviewed and backgrounds and stuff. So I'm just going to go over the actual toys themselves. I may come up with some of the characters because one, one or two of them haven't had much. You'll see. Now, first of all, I'd like to point something out. We're talking, obviously, as you know, with the credits. We're talking the 30th anniversary of the Generation Toys. And we're talking of Wave 1. So you've got the first four bots. So you've got Megatron, Orion Pax, Bumblebee, and um, Trail Cutter. Now, I got, I went to Manchester, Toys R Us, and it wasn't there. So my mate, Magic Mike, he took me there. Took me to Stockport, the little gem that he is. And I found them there. However, they didn't. they weren't ones that came with the comics. They just had normal short backings and they didn't have the comics in them. But I didn't realise this until I got home. Now it's not a major not a major problem for me because of the fact that I've already have the comics. I'm not really bothered. I just want you to be aware of that, guys. That I went to Stockport Toys R Us. The bots were there, but the comic versions weren't. I don't know if this is a special edition with the comics. I'm not sure. Um, maybe they they just come through when you when you mail order them from. You know, uh, Kapow or someone like that. All the cool stuff. I don't know, but um, Stockport, uh, Stockport um, Toys R Us, they didn't have it. But I'll go through them anyway. So, um, as, you, as I say, I have got these comics already. So, we have Megatron. We all know who Megatron is. Those of you who don't, where have you been? been for the last 30 years. <laughs> um... The the book itself, um, it's, it's a review of the book and of the toy as well. Uh, the book itself, wonderful artwork. I, I really do like the artwork. And there's some like little geeky moments seeing a couple of the guys there. Um, but the story itself, yawn. It's Megatron and Starscream. Star, and Megatron coming back and showing Starscream who the boss is really and telling him what he really feels and blah, blah, blah. This, that, the other, that. It's been done countless times it really didn't need doing i'm you know i'm giving it away i'm going to be do we're going to be reviewing this at iconic reviews but just a reader's digest version nah really don't care for it it's not a good story so there you go the artwork's brilliant though so but the toy itself um he is a nice toy i do like the look of him um he is uh he's also oh, he's, Articulation is very nice. I'm not too keen on the purple because it's not really purple. It's more pink than anything. 
Um, these look like um, tuits, black currant tuits. That's the colour of black currant tuits. I, I don't like that purple. It needs to be a bit darker, I'm afraid. Also, the toy needs to be bigger. The light piping, the purple clear light piping is a bit too dark because the, the light doesn't come through very well. Um, so it could do with a little bit of brightening. I mean, if you had a bright light behind it, then yes, it works. But, you know, why would, why would you have a bright light behind it? Um, also, there's a couple of them that have got this. Why? There's no, it's not effect. It's, the light piping's not good when it does that. Don't get it. Stop it. it needs to be bigger. Um, the alt mode is nice. I do like it. The transformation is quite good. Um, so I, I had to look at the instructions for this one, actually. This wasn't straightforward. Um, I had to look at the instructions. Um, I, I just couldn't get my head around what what went where. Um, thank you to, I believe it was Kal -El Prime for pointing out the fact how the legs transform because I don't think I would have got it otherwise. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a, a nice bot. Needs to be bigger though. Um, next one, Orion Pax. Artwork is great. The story is great. Um, I think we've reviewed this already. I think we have. I can't reuse. Um, I we both loved it. It was really good. First time we saw Alpha Trion transforming this as well, and he transformed into the Batmobile. That's the Batman. That's the 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 uh, the big the Dark Knight trilogy Batmobile. Very good. I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, and the whole thing about he's got a problem. He wants a face mask. He doesn't like. This is his new form. Just a quick thing. This is his new form. He's got an upgrade. Um, it's to bridge the gap between Blur, Spotlight Blur, and everything else from that. Because Spotlight Blur was done early on in IDW. And this is where why Prime looks like this. This It's just a like, oh, this is why. This is what happened. So, it's very good. I do like it. The fact that Prime has a... Sorry, Orion Pax. I guess I've said Prime all oh, through it. Sorry, Orion Pax has a problem. He he needs to have his face covered. I like that little quirk. Um, for the toy itself, um, very nice. And yes, he is Orion Pax, so he should be a bit small. Um, so I'm not too bothered about the size of this one. The uh, transformation is intuitive and. Um, involving but it's not hard as nails um i do like this one um i think they scale it from like one to three i think the scales i think that would megatron would be a three to be honest just simply because of how everything straightens up i i could for me it was a three this is a two definitely um and so it's very good i did this without any instructions in fact i did the rest of them without instructions um so yes very good well done. Um, oh you're probably wondering Jim, where's his where's his axe? Ah. See the way I thought of it was um I used I used uh, Transformers Prime as like my my thinking. So Bumblebee's a scout and he has guns. Right? And uh um RC and Bulkhead and uh Wheeljack are warriors. They have guns and blades, as well as Optimus Prime, and you know, so they all have these guns and blades. So I thought, okay, so he's a scout. So when he gets upgraded to warrior, he'll have the blade thing as well, won't he? Yeah, makes sense. So this is Orion Pax. Um, so I'm thinking, mm, scout. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean? He's not. He's a cop. He is a cop. Um, and. I didn't see him with an axe in the game, in the in the book, so why has he got an axe? It makes no sense. So I took it off him, and I've used it for something else. More than that in a second. Orion Pax. He is a nice bot. I do like him. Bumblebee. This isn't a Transformers Prime Bumblebee. This is G1 Bumblebee. This is a really good story. Really good story. Um, and it's between, it's during the time when Bumblebee took over the Autobots, commanded the Autobots, and he's really good. This is after he got upgraded, and uh, he got battered actually, and he got injured through on the ongoing series. 
and so he is injured now with a walking stick. And every single person that I've seen reviews for for this guy has said he needs a walking stick. He needs a walking stick. Um, so I got Orion Pax's. That's a good story. I got Orion Pax's axe, chopped the blades off, ground it down, filed it down, painted it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Bumblebee has a walking stick, and it's absolutely brilliant. See how it's stood like this? That's how he stands. He is now, because of the stick, he can stand really easy. One second. Just to show, prove the point. So cool. So, um, yeah, he is a really nice bot. Um, like I say, I'll just try to show you this on its own. I'll just cut down the axe, chop the end bit, but because it was a bit long, shut down the blades, uh, filed it down a bit, and just painted over it. So it's just black now. I'll varnish it later. I just wanted to get it to show you. So if you're not happy with Pax having an axe, like me, you can use it for something else. There you go. Relocation of sources. Ah, um, the articulation on this is good. The face face job is brilliant. Uh, weight articulation. Is, did I say articulation? Oh, I'm going to say it again. Articulation is awesome. Um, the color is great. And like Callow Prime said, um, the plastic, some parts are different plastics and they look different because of it in bot mode. You don't see it in, but in, in this mode, but hey. This would have been nice. Yellow plastic, all this, and where the grey is should be black. Apart from that, I really like this bot. It is good. At first, you think, oh, it's a bit weak. It feels a bit thingy. And to be honest, it does look it, but it's not. It really isn't. It really isn't. The weakest bit is this, um, and that's it. Yeah, it's no problem really. Um, I really do like it. Um, yeah, it's great. Great toy. Great toy. And the final one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know what I love I love this comic uh, Nick Rose um, and James Roberts uh, oh my apologies uh, Matt Frank I did not know that good lord I am so sorry Mr. Frank um, <laughs> yeah Matt Frank is really good uh, this is uh, spotlight trail cutter and he is awesome just this bit alone world's telling telling the drunk trail breaker uh, that he needs to change his name and he needs to stop doing that force field face you know this one no wait 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 this one <laughs> Genius. He's got no facial expression, but he's, he's showing him anyway. <laughs> Brilliant. I love this story. It's a really good story. The artwork is great. Mr. Matt Frank, I am so sorry. I feel really bad now. I haven't read it for ages, um, and I thought, it was, I thought it was Nick Roche. I am so sorry. Um, I am a muppet. I am firing myself for my iconic reviews. But, yes, a really good um, comic. And if you do manage to get hold of Trailbreaker, uh, trail cutter then um, get him get him with the comic definitely this is him um, he is good uh, Kalel Prime I think his was a bit wobbly or was that Prime oh no that was um, Pax won it yeah right Pax was it. none of these are wobbly and these are all fine so it must have been just sorry dude and it's just Kalel Primes but uh, yeah the this bit here now personally I'm just going to turn it, take this off in bot mode and leave it like that. That will not bother me. I am fine with that. And I would like Dr. Wu, like Kal-El says. I keep mentioning Kal-El, like I've got a big major man crush or something. But um, oh, he's all right, isn't he? Um, he's got, I'd like Dr. Wu to do something here for these, this, to, to give it a, you know, a gun hand. That would be, would be cool. Would be really cool. But to answer this, um, Dave, you were saying that um, because you unfold that and you have that there, 
and because of no wrist articulation, basically you do that. Well, actually, at the way I, it doesn't say in the thing, it doesn't say in the instructions or anything, but I figured it. I think I figured it out. Uh, fold the hand in, whichever hand you want to do, and then see the side port post. Just put the port, should say, put the post in there, and there you go. His right shield, so you can bend the elbow. Um, hope that helps. Um, I really like him. Um, his, articul his articulation is good. He turns at the waist. He doesn't fall off. Um, he is his transformation is uh, straightforward. I would give it a one um, for for the hardness. The you know hardness for transforming. Um, but yeah, he's um, he's a nice bot. The only beef I have with him. Um, he would be nice a bit bigger between this and Voyager. It doesn't have to be a Voyager. Um, why can't we have something between Deluxe and Voyager? He would be between it. He should be between it. Um, and uh, the only other thing is, even though in bot in car mode you can see the bot symbol, you can't see it in bot mode. It's there, yeah. Which is uh, really cool and all that, but it's hidden because of that. And I can't get a repro label and put it on the top because in car mode it'll look daft, won't it? So I don't know what I want. I don't know what to do with that one, to be honest. Um, however, this is the only one with light piping does work. Um, it is very good. If I can just rotate you round. There you go. Um, yes, very nice. Uh, you notice I didn't really mention these. Um, yeah, they don't really need them. I was fine. I would have been fine with a stick, but I made myself a stick for him. And that's my take on the four. Half decent. Some little things that could be changed. Megatron could be bigger. Um, definitely could be a Voyager. Um, Trailbreak could be nice to be a bit bigger. Um, Prime uh, Pax is pretty much fine the way he is, and so is B, except the fact that he could lose those stupid things and get himself a walking stick. But if you're not bothered with Pax not having an edge on axe, do what I did: chop the blades off, file it down, paint it, stick it on. It works fine. No, I did no other chopping but taking the blades off, and I used the grinder to do it. Um, you're gonna need a hacksaw, a coping saw, or a, yeah, a coping saw would be better. Um, for this, I used the grinder. It didn't do a brilliant job, but it's good enough for me. I'm not gonna bloody. It's not like I'm selling the thing. Um, but yes, that is my take on the 30th first wave of the 30th anniversary of Generation Transformers. I hope it was. Um, I hope it was helpful for you to help you choose if you want any of them. I hope something you've picked something up from this um, and. Please be aware that some of them come without the comics. All these four didn't have the comics, but I managed to. I got the the original spotlights anyway. Um, I recommend um, all of the comics, barring Megatron. So if you find a Megatron without a comic, don't worry about it. It's crap. Um, but certainly, if you can get the others with the comic, get him, get him, guys. It's really good. Um, yeah, that is my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, just remember, I've got three dark steel. Um, just to point out, I've got three dark steels. Um, I found this and three others at Tesco. I'm not a. I'm not a scalper. I'm going to sell them for twenty quid. Um, at AA, I'll, I'll take them with me. They'll be in my room. You, I'll be on the lobby if you want me. Just, just grab me. Just shout me. Um, I've got three for sale. I'll be there from Friday. So. Uh, 20 quid. I'm not selling them for any extra. I'm not making money on them. I just thought the guy, some guys will want it. Save you some money. Alright guys, you take care. So long.